atmosphere, huh? Nice and green, huh? R&B, huh? It's going down, huh? Vestoros, what up? All my niggas, what up? Coming from Sweden by Senegal, if you wonder, West Africa. And uh, I've started a magazine called The Swag of a God. I'm not a God, I said the swag of a God. That means like you're cool, like you were something like a God, but you're not. When I say the swag of a God, it's just a cool name that I like. And uh, I will like talking, let me see, what do I got on my schedule? I have a lot of stuff here that I talk about on my homepage, the blackland.sc. And uh, my first thing that I like to say to you is that I've started a Swag of a God magazine. It's on Facebook and on uh, this page, the blackland.sc. And I'm in I'm talking about stuff that I'm interested in because I have a brand called the Blackland Clothing. So I'm looking a lot at fashion, I'm looking at royal people, what they wear and how they dress and who they're dating and stuff like that, that interests me. I don't know why, but it just interests me. Maybe it's because I look at TV too much or the internet, I don't know. I'm into sports, I'm a professional boxer. I've beaten many good fighters, but I've been off for eight years. I was locked up because I did a lot of bad stuff. So now I've changed my ways and changed my character. I've changed a lot, yeah, during these eight years. I've learned a lot, I've seen a lot. And uh, so I talk about fashion, I talk about royals, I talk about sports, I talk about politics, because that interests me a lot. You cannot live in Europe and not be interested of uh, and not be interested of politics. It's kind of strange. Politics touches in every corner of our society. So, politics rule this world. Can can you say yes? It does. And I do music. I'm a rapper too. I sing. I do stuff. But I'm not a good singer. I'm a better rapper and stuff like that. I'm more like the hardcore rapper. You can find me on YouTube, I'll be on Spotify and Apple Music on all these pages soon. And uh, I'm interested in business because I do what I do, so I'm interested in business. But, but when I talk about fashion, like I look at people like Stella McCartney, she has very good collections I've seen. I look at uh, Versace, many of the rappers are wearing Versace. I look at Hugo Boss that I used to wear a lot when I had a lot of money. And I look at a Swedish brand called G. Lindenberg that many of the Swedish people, because I'm from Sweden, I live in Sweden, that many of the Swedish people are wearing. And uh, I look at Adidas a lot. I look at uh, street fashion, I look at suits, like the best dressed male I've seen this year was uh, this guy, Prince William, when he was in, uh, in uh, Canada, him and his wife, Kate, the Duchess, and their kids, uh, George and uh, Charlotte, I think their name is, and I, I, I've been looking at Prince, Prince William a lot. I, I think he's cool. He's a cool guy, you know. He's a cool, uh, he's a cool prince, not a character. He's a cool prince. And uh, I saw him. He was a very good dressed, you know. It's like, yeah, this is this is this is swag. This is swagged up to me, because the suit fit him pretty well. It was a blue suit or some kind. So it was I don't know what kind of model, because I I just saw the pictures. I was not close to see it. I was not in Canada, I was in Sweden. By internet I saw it. So for me it was like, it was very, very interesting to see that. And uh, Kate dresses very nice. She looks like a top model to me. Yeah, she does. And uh, they, they, they do a good job with her. That's, that's just what, what I think. I'm into looking at ladies what they wear. 
asked, like, let's say who? We have a lot of people who are dressing very good because fashion has been, it's like, uh, it's like the first step when you meet someone, you look at their fashion, what kind of clothes they're wearing and what are they trying to say, what colors are they representing and stuff like that. So I've always been into the black color. I like white on me, it's nice, but white gets dirty so 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 easy and fast. So I like to keep it black. I don't know why. I just that's just me. But I like like blue is a nice color. Red is a nice color, orange is a nice color for me as, as a black man. For you too, as a white man or Chinese or whatever you are. I think uh, there's a lot of stuff that I think is nice. But let's see. We go on. So I talk about fashion. I give you three stuff about fashion. I talk, I talk about royals. Now we got to talk about sports, and sports I have to talk about boxing. <laughs> Everybody knows me as a boxer, and I have a big mouth, yeah? and I'm pretty cocky. But, 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 the fight of the year I saw the other day, I saw Derek Chisora in Sweden. I wanted to fight him when he was in Sweden. Hats off to Chisora. He's another African fighter in Europe, fighting, good guy. Oh, good guy, I don't know, good or bad, I don't know. I have, I've, I've never met his own like that, but I've seen his stuff that he does, and he, he, he can be wild. Yeah, cool. But the fight he did with Dylan White, actually to me, as a boxer, what I saw, he won that fight. So, and we have to talk about Anthony Joshua, another fighter from Africa, all of a sudden, Nigeria, in, based in London, doing it pretty good. I'm not hating on AJ, but I think I can beat AJ. If I tell you I can beat AJ, I can beat AJ. I promise you I can beat AJ. Yeah, so I would, I would be interested in fighting some of these guys on the years to come. I'll be building up my, my boxing career again, some way, somehow, through some promoter or through some manager or somebody who's interested to work with the next generation of boxer. You contact me and we can talk or promoter or anything, wherever you are, I'm ready. So AJ, Deontay, Wilder, Klitschko is like over the hill, Tyson Fury beat him. If Tyson Fury would be still in the ring, I would be challenging him, because uh, we had like a common opponent, and the fight is on YouTube, and uh, when he beat him, I beat him in the same round, but my, but my fashion was better than Tyson Fury's, to be honest. So from that, I think that I can have a stake on Tyson Fury in the ring, yes. So if he's big, if he's tall, if he's mobile or not, doesn't matter. I've fought them all. People know me, they know I've been around for years. So In Sweden, we have a lot of good boxers now, uh, heavyweights. We have Adrian Granot, who I know I can beat. We have Uto Vali, who I know I can beat. These are the two like hot prospects. And like, uh, I have to say something about some of these fighters because uh, when, they, when they make up profiles on Facebook, some guys hide behind profiles, call themselves different names and promoting them like, it's okay, it's nothing wrong with that. But because it's professional boxing, you have to promote yourself. But the people behind these profiles, I don't like the way they are because they are, they are, they are sinking the boxing game to a level in Sweden where it has be, been before, and they're putting up guys who are not capable of uh, doing the stuff that other boxers can do or has done. So for me, it's very in, it's very in, in, it's very interesting and important for me to say what I think. But still, it's cool. It's a promotion game. We've seen how it goes with different promoters and stuff like that in boxing. How they promote their fighters and stuff like that. The best fighter of all time, who is that? Mm. I have to say is Ali, game changer, Tyson, game changer, and we got the Bernard Hopkins, he's one of the oldest fighters ever. So that's boxing. We can talk boxing for ages. That's 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 boxing. Boxing. Politics. Who interests me in politics? How can I be? I'm like interested in uh, Barack Obama, of 
course you see I'm interested in Benjamin Netanyahu yes because there's a lot of stuff you can read about these people but you don't know what a lot about them I'm interested in uh, Stefan Levin in Sweden I'm interested in uh, what's her name uh, the new Prime Minister of England uh, What's her name again? The Brexit lady, I call her. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. I don't know. I forgot her name. I'm interested in the European uh, Union too. I'm watching everything. Like, I'm watching uh, Angela Merkel. She's about to uh, renew her candidacy for. Uh, the EU, the EU, I don't know what you call it, like, not supreme presidency, but she would be like the chancellor, I'm sorry, yeah, the chancellor. She's going to become a chancellor again. That's what she says. I'm interested in that. I'm watching. And I'm uh, interested in Therese. Her name was Ter Theresa May from England, yes, her. Who do we have more that I'm interested in? That I think that's very, very good stuff. Hmm, that I've seen. There's a guy in Sweden called Jonas Kerstedt. He says a lot of good stuff to me. I've been watching him like off and on for many, many, many years. He says good stuff, you know. He says good stuff, but I don't, I have not watched him so close. Who do we have more, ladies? Hmm. There's a lot of good people in Sweden, to be honest, that I've seen. Uh, what's her name? This one from Social Democrats. I forgot her name, I'm sorry. Because I don't see them so often, but she's like a spoker, speaker or speaker. Uh, not M. that's sad, no, not her. Uh, there's a lot of good ladies too. Uh, who are, who are talking in Sweden, like, this is the country for the ladies, that's why I'm hiding myself from the net, because when you go out, the ladies will bomb you if you don't say that they are the best, you have to respect all the ladies, your mother, your sister, your brother's wife, they all come into your life and they decide over you, your ex-girlfriend, whoever you had to deal with in Sweden, she's a lady, she's much above you, so you have to understand that. This is a country for the ladies. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's enough for what Now I'm back. I was talking about music. The weekend. The weekend he reminds me a lot of Michael Jackson. Because Michael Jackson is somebody that many of us grew up with. His his song. Not he cannot dance like Michael Jackson, that's for sure. But he can sound like him in many, many ways on his new album, Starboy. So for me, Starboy is one of the best albums of the year. I've heard from a friend of mine, a guy called Logic. I was listening to him yesterday too. Logic was sounding pretty good actually, to be honest. And he was saying some stuff that was pretty cool. And he, I heard his story and stuff like that. So Logic was too good. I've heard some, some, some guys in Sweden who rap in Swedish. I have a guy that I grew up with called G. Dixon. He does a lot of good stuff, I hear. I have a guy called Khalifa that I too grew up with. He does a lot of good stuff. We have Sara Lasho. She's rapping the international scene like crazy. We have uh, Sene Busey. She's rapping everywhere. You see her on TV, you see her on the news, people are liking her stuff on Facebook, Instagram, social media going wild. And who do we have more? This girl, uh, I'm a cool girl, I don't know what, what her name is. The, that girl too, she does a lot of good music. To be honest, Sweden, we have a lot, a lot of good artists, to be, to be honest. To be, to be a small country like it is, we have a lot of good good artists. If we'd be big as uh, Russia or, or, or USA, the, the world would not have enough of Sweden. Still they cannot get enough. We have the girl Robin, she was very big in the 90s and early 2000. Who more? Hmm. 
You have a lot of good rappers too. In Swedish English, they can go wherever, whenever. So I see them, I heard the other day. This is on Swedish for the, for the Swedish people who are watching. We have the UK, they have a lot of good rappers. Stormzy, shut up. We have, uh, uh, what's his name? DJ Rascal, I like him. Many years I've been following. Lazy from Sweden. Adam Tiensta. We have a lot of rappers here. People around Europe, they know who these guys are. Yeah, there are many, 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 many rappers. Some of them I got beef with or had beef with. Now I'm done with that. I'm on to the next one. There were very good rappers in the USA. Who do? Who's? I've been listening to 50 today, actually. Straight out south side. Uh, one more. Hmm. Hmm. I'm listening to uh, Foxy Brown, Baby Sham, old school stuff, Beanie Man, uh, Shabba Ranks, Vibes Cartel, killed my brain for like two, three months. But we bad guys, but we bad. Love it. Uh, there's a lot, I can go on. I'll take it on the next step. But, 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 before I quit, some news that I got today. Uh, there's a series on Netflix called The Crown. Why do I talk about The Crown? I love royalty. I don't know why. Me, myself, I'm not royalty. I'm just a simple, not a peasant, but a simple fighter, boxer, man. I'm not royalty. I've never been, will never be. But I'm interested of it. I'm interested, I'm interested in, in the way they live, the swag, the money, the fame, the news, the glitter, the grammar, the drama, the babies, the life. It interests me because it's a part of my own life, but not in the same fashion. Understand me? So when stuff, people go, go through stuff, no matter who these people are, because I know that I've been special in other people's eyes so I can relate sometimes. People don't know who you are, what you go through, or how your life is, stuff like that. But uh, if you if if you're public then they can write all kind of stuff about you. They can like come in and penetrate your life and say what they want about you and they don't know what they say about you, how much it will cost you or how much it will hurt you. I've been through that here. So for me when I read bad stuff about people who are in high places, no matter what they go through, I try not to read it. I try not to, not to put it inside my system, you understand me? I, I, I let it just fade away. Just when I read it, I just try to forget it. I think that's, that's better. Because there's a lot of people now in high places, or in low places even, who people write stuff about. Many of these people who write stuff about them can be jealous can be, have a cold heart, maybe they get money from someone else to do what they do. In my case, I can just talk about me, I don't know about you, but in my case, it was, it was, it was a period of, of my life when I was trying to become bigger than life. And trying to become bigger than life got over my head. Over my head, in many ways, I left the girlfriend I was with, went with another girl, after that I found someone else who I fell in love with but didn't be able to connect with that person in the way that I wanted or, or wished and stuff led to one another and I was gone for eight years so people who know they know so I'm trying to get back on track this is like what I do I try to get back on track I try to show who I am and not like uh, what people think that they know about me because people don't know me who has read papers about me or have 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 watched me for years or think they can they can study my 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 movement they cannot study my movement because I don't know how I move myself you understand me I don't know what I watch react over I don't know what I say sometimes sometimes I say stuff that is very good sometimes I can say stuff that is very stupid I'm just human you understand me that's me so I will leave you with that and I hope that you like the news and. I will be coming back pretty soon. Uh.
Yes, thank you.